We're going to do part C and D of activity 1.3.4 together. Our function is P of T equals 25,000 E to the T over 5, which gives the population of Arizona in people where T is the number of decades after 2010. And we're asked to estimate P prime of 2. So based off of our limit definition, we're going to have the limit as H approaches 0 of P of 2 plus H minus P of 2 all over H. That's our difference quotient with the limit go out front. That is the definition of our derivative. Now what we're going to do is put 2 plus H in for T for the first part and 2 in for T for the second. So let's see what that looks like. We have not taken the limit yet so we do still need to keep writing limit as H approaches 0 out front. We're going to have 25,000 E to the 2 plus h over 5 minus 25,000 e to the 2 over 5. That last part will just be a constant because we're just finding p of 2. Notice there's just the one h in here. And this is all over h. Now we can start to estimate this as is with smaller and smaller values of h, but I'm going to simplify this just a little bit because it's what we will do later in the semester when we talk about uh, derivative rules. And first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. So we have e to the 2 plus h over 5. That's the same as e to the 2 over 5 times e to the h over 5. That is one of our properties of exponents. Addition is multiplication of two things of the same base. Minus 25,000 e to the 2 fifths. And again, this is still all over h. Now the reason we're doing that is if you notice 25,000 e to the 2 fifths is now a common factor and also doesn't depend on h. So we're going to have the limit as h approaches 0 of 25,000 e to the 2 fifths. That's been, we're pulling this out in front and what does that leave us with is e to the h over 5 minus 1 all over h. Now if we wanted to we could actually go a step further and because this does not depend on h that could actually be rewritten out in front of the limit so 25,000 e to the 2 fifths and then the limit we need to evaluate to solve this is the limit as h goes to 0 of e to the h over 5 minus 1 all over h. This is really the part that needs solving. The, the rest is just a constant. For our purposes, we're going to write it all together because I'm just going to, we're going to put it into the calculator so we can see what happens as h gets closer and closer to 0. So, here I have it input. And notice I'm using x instead of h because I'm putting it into the calculator. But I put it in for my y equals. And now I can go to the table, so second table, and I can start to put in values closer and closer to 0. And we'll see what happens. 0 0.1, 0 0.0, let's, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Notice that the numbers are starting to converge to a particular number. And we can keep playing this game until we don't see any um, appreciable difference in these. So let's really go in extreme. Notice there's really no change. 7459.1. So. That tells us that our instantaneous rate of change, that's going to be a pretty good estimate right there, is 7,459.1. Because we're dealing with people, we'll round it off to 7,459. But our units on this are people per decade, just like in Part B. So, let's talk about the sentence that goes along with this. We're two decades after 2010. This is our amount. So, and it's positive. So we can say it's increasing. 
So in 2030, the population of Arizona is increasing by 7,459 people per decade.